Hey, what is going on, everybody? Today we have a one verse one at the Stir River, and I love this map. I really do. It's the only map with chokeholds and strategic points that, like, I don't know. It's just very fun. I wish they'd make more maps like this. Uh, controlling the Empire, we have A. Dot Labadens, and controlling Bretonia is me, Wild Boy seven eight nine seven eight nine. 789 so, uh, I did a one verse one. This is on medium funds. I wanted to make it a little bit more manageable to watch. You know, sometimes the battle's all over the place. But uh, I don't, I don't have K enabled right now. So we're gonna go ahead and see if we can find all their units. They're bringing demi griff knights. I want to make this very cinematic. Um. His infantry line is all halberds, which I think he brought four or five units. He was really expecting to kill my king and any sort of flying pegasus or horse unit that I have. Sorry, I'm trying to get my mic. You can hear me breathing into it too much. Another unit of demigriff knights. I didn't even know he brought two on the field, so it'll be interesting to see where that goes. And his lord... He's bringing Carl Franz. Look at the rear end of a tiger on his uh, legendary mount. I forget the name of his legendary mount. Carl Franz on... I, I couldn't tell you. I know the French king rides Beaquis, and that's what I'm on, the Hippogriff. I'm bringing in the woods here. A unit of Knights of the Realm. And a unit of Field Trebuchet. Which reminds me that he has an artillery somewhere I missed. Let's see if we can find it real quick. No cheating. It's probably here behind the... Uh, yep. He's bringing a mortar crew. The Empire. Okay, so sorry. I almost mixed that one up. And he's hiding most of his units in the woods. I'm hiding most of my units behind this little thicket of woods, but we're not in the woods. I have one, two, five, five units of the polearm peasants, because they have a little bit better leadership, even though I didn't really want to use polearms, you know? I'd use spear and shield if it was viable. But I really wanted that extra leadership. And one unit of peasant bowmen, which I'm trying to use them a little more. I really like the horse bowmen, but they're 200 gold more. And I think that's all I'm bringing. So, oh, almost forgot my paladin on Pegasus. So let's get this battle started. <coughs> I'm going to be moving up, well, you know, I'll just refer to myself as Bretonia. Bretonia is moving up as peasants, peasant bowmen and trebuchets. This kind of opening. The empire is not yet budging. He's weighing his options, it would appear. I also believe I moved my knights, yep up uh, a little bit farther into the woods on the hill. Still hidden, but kind of to where he couldn't see them. I moved them up, but they were still not in range, and I was hesitant. I wanted to get on this cliff like I always do, but I was hesitant to, uh, hesitant to move them out of position because they can't fire when they're moving, obviously. I then decided to just click on his front line and target it. <clears throat> so they're gonna scoot up as much as needed. This little bow guy got left out. And uh, I wasn't sure what to do with my peasants. I start moving them into some weird positions that don't really matter at this point in the battle. So it looks like I'm loading up. 
I'm sure the Empire is pushing up his mortar. Yep. Now he is going to fire at my trebuchet. I was not firing at the artillery at this point. I was trying to fire at his back line. I think he's going to get some hits off first. Sort of knocking me down, but nothing crazy yet. It's weird I put them in range to fire and the back one did not get in range. That's a bit upsetting. Maybe I should have lengthened them out before firing. Carl Franz is coming in. Let's see if I get some hits with my uh, my rocks. Just missed with that one. Nope. Bretonia's accuracy is uh, failing a little bit. You can see my king up there flying around, kind of warning him to back off. This mortar is actually really accurate compared to my rock throwers. But now that he moved up his front line, I should be throwing all three rocks at him. Boom! Nice hit from Bretonia. Eventually, Britonia starts aiming at their mortars. Nothing crazy. He moved out. I was flying out there a little bit. Let's see if he's doing work. He hasn't shut any down yet, but he's killed a, a few of the crew. I'm moving my archers up. Paladin is flying in to greet the king. He's going to go ahead and engage. And in comes King Lewin. These two proud beasts. That's King Lewin uh, debuffing, I believe, his armor and his melee defense. My archers are shooting, unfortunately, into the back of my own king. He's moving up his front lines. The demigriffs, if we can see in the background, there they are, are starting to flank around me. He's trying to retreat his king. At this point, I notice both my flying guys are here. And his mortars out in the open. So real quickly, if we can, see me get a charge off on here. Yes. So you know how that's going to turn out. Let's move up over here because the archers are firing. Just trying to melt down these non-shielded units. The Demigriff Knights are charging into my artillery. On the hill there you can see... Oh no! My Knights are right here. The Knights of the Realm greeting them. We will beat them off the charge, but they will start tearing up my Knights in prolonged combat. Uh, the Knights of the Grail, or the Grail Knights I should say, are better but not by much versus a regular faction like this because they do anti-ethereal damage with their magic damage. There's their other unit. Tearing into the back of my bowmen. The front lines have clashed. The paladin is up here in the front lines. My king is coming down to try and support what's left of these totally demolished knights. They really demolished my knights, and I send in a unit of my halberds. They're fighting me on the front line over here as well. I left the open in a straight line, 
and I took the edge and flanked to the side. Uh, you could flank around with the middle, but I was worried that uh, it would break my line and my morale. And it looks like his morale is breaking, and that's the end of that engagement. So Bretonia wins this day versus the Empire. He probably should have brought a hero or something. He brought two units of cavalry. It was very expensive, and I don't think it paid off for him. Both of our artillery kind of got shut down and kind of just did a little bit of damage. Probably neither was very effective. Although they were effective at taking each other's shots. For example, if he didn't bring his artillery, I would have thrown a bunch of rocks into his infantry, which didn't land too well. And if I didn't bring mine, he would have started blowing up my peasants and probably could have changed the tide of that battle. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.